I carry with me weight this morning. That means I'm, I'm heavy in thought. The experience is challenged. It's changing. It's a moment of unrest. And yet, and yet, I stare outside the studio window and I see the sun rising over this gorgeous forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. One that I would love to share with the world. But it's not me that has to discover it. It's you. It's you that gets to come here to write, to think, to play. But I'm heavy in weight. My thoughts are, they're, they're, they're just, they're there, they're very evident. And I know I'm not the only one because I get to spend time with you. When, when you come into the places that are essential in my life, where I took an opportunity and I put it into play in September of 2020, which put me right there in front of you every day. I come to listen. I come to offer choice. That's the beauty of this adventure is that we can work together. We can share as a united generation. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. And you're following witness to it right now. The, the sun is waking up even as we speak. And I can only hope and pray that you are feeling the energy of the rays, the rays of light that are just bursting through this forest. It's, it's such a place and it's being captured in this moment of now. Today we're reading from April 8th, 2022. I love it when my writing instruments stain the tips of my fingers. I wear the ink like a medal of honor. Is it a child at play or an adult that realizes the importance of sharing thought with a page? My first known writing started in the second grade with Mrs. Keefe. But here's the thing you have to understand. Not all teachers embraced my passion to write. I mean, there was Mrs. Eschler in the 11th grade. She scolded me for my style of putting thought into word formation. The class was called creative writing. You see, in my heart, she didn't have a word or a say. No, it was creative writing. It's what we do as creators. Nowhere did it say that I had to write her way. I'd say it served as a platform to always stay strong with my methods of release. And I got to be honest with you. I have never, in my 43 years of broadcasting, I have never fit into the realm of radio broadcasting. It's never been my typical self. I didn't want to be typecast. The outsider, that's what I've always been. But the bad thing about being an outsider is really how far you really are. Outside. Everybody else is getting the trophy. If only I had played by their rules. <laughs> Is that why I have long hair? Is that why at the age of 59.9, the hair is all the way to the middle of my back? I, I, as a child, I always wanted long hair and my father would, we would always get the crew cut. My father was very strict. And then my mother convinced my father that just let him have it long on top. And so we got the bowl cut. It was short on the bottom, but long on top. I look like one of the, oh my God, you know, like like a monkey. You know, the, the TV show, The Monkeys, um, The Three Stooges. I, I, it, was, it, just, I, it just didn't look right. And so I still have photographs of my prom and my graduation. And there he was. That kid with the long hair. And here is that kid at 59.9 with long hair. Because he just didn't want to play. He wanted to be an outsider. Because on the outside, the greatest thing about that, and I know it's in you as well, is that you get to play by your rules. Sure, you have other other formats and other you know, you know, expectations from those around you. But being an outsider, you get to say, I, I don't come here to work. I come here because I want to be with people. That's that's how I do it on, on the front lines. You know, they say, do you like your job? I don't have a job. Job to me is mowing the lawn. It's taking the trash out. That's a job. When I come here, I want to talk. I want to share stories. I, I just want to be with people. Because every one of us as a united generation... 
we've got something to say. And I love being inspired by what you have to say. The men and women that come into the store at five minutes before 10 closing time, they're frazzled. They're tired. They, they, they don't know what they've done for the day. They just know that they're on their way home. And so you offer your ear and you listen and you put into play their story. It's amazing. If we could just become better listeners, be on the outside. Don't do as they say, do as you grow. Find your way in a way of saying, no, I was given this life because this is me. This is me. I've made the investment. They haven't made the investment. I get to be me the very moment you open your eyes every morning. The sun rising above a forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. Here's the thing. Being an outsider, there's a big chance that you you and I, you and I, are the only ones that are watching. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.